Wide World Wrestling underway. Tom Miller along with George Scott in the ring right now. Richard Blood going up against Charlie Fulton. Richard Blood out of Mission, Texas. And uh, he evokes just about as much response in these coliseums and arenas from the young ladies as does uh, Ricky Steamboat. I'm here to tell you he's a handsome young man and all the young ladies are, are very interested in this young man, Richard Blood. But he's in against a rugged opponent right now and Charlie Fulton who body slams him. That's very true, Tom. And I'm going to move out of here and you got another Texas boy a good old southern boy over here Dick Murdoch so I'm going to let him sit here with uh -huh. you and help just, you commentate and uh, just tell him not to kick the announcer's table <laughs> <laughs> Dick Murdoch the sensational Dick Murdoch is now joining us Mike's side and we're glad to have him with us Richard Blood working that arm bar on Charlie Fulton right now Welcome in, Dick Murdoch. Nice to have you with us again. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure being here, boy. And I'll tell you what, you got two sensational athletes out there in the ring right now. I tell you, I just left uh, instructions with George Scott for you to, to be sure not get so worked up that you kick the, the wrestler's uh, announcer's table about three feet like you did uh, in one of our other matches on Wide World Wrestling. Look at that action up in the ring right now. Richard Blood working on uh, Charlie Fulton. Dick Murdoch loves to wrestle so much that uh, he even wrestles at the announcer's table. Well, I'll tell you Anytime, what. Anytime, anyplace, anywhere. Hey, I was born in this profession. It's in my blood. And by golly, I get excited just like somebody used to play football sitting at home watching. I get excited watching these matches and just like everybody else that's sitting out there at home does. You know, that Richard Blood's turning into be a sensational athlete. You know, he's a great football player. Making a name for himself in professional wrestling. Someday he's going to be a main eventer everywhere in the world. So is his Charlie Fulton. He also is a... Look at that uh, flying drop kick by Richard Blood. Beautiful arm drag. Works it back into the arm bar again. Uh, Richard Blood is a, a native of Texas. Where is Mission, Texas? I understand that's his home. Well, Mission, Texas is down past San Antonio, down in the valley where all the vegetables come from and all the fruit. And I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful place down in there. Richard Blood in against Charlie Fulton out of Detroit, Michigan. And this Charlie Fulton is a man to be reckoned with. He's a scrapper, a fighter from the word go. I'll tell you what, Richard Blood was a great football player at West Texas State University. You might say that I tutored the man there. And I'll tell you what, he's turning into one heck of an athlete here. Well, he couldn't have a finer teacher uh, than in the form of one Mr. Dick Murdoch. And I, <laughs> I mean that sincerely. Well, thank you. I just, I'll tell you what, I just hope I help you professional wrestling if we did in football. He's got his hands full right now. He's in a little bit of trouble, you know, but I'll tell you what. You're going to have to wrap him up. You're going to have to tie those legs up to cover him for a one, two, three. Fulton going for a big slam. Or not. Hey, you talk about getting a wind knocked out of you. I will definitely sure do it. Full force of your body coming down on your back like that. It, it, it momentarily takes the breath completely out of you, as Dick Murdoch says. Well, you know, you hear a lot of people say that don't hurt. Everybody knows how to fall and everything else. Well, I'll tell you what. You learn, it, I'll tell you what. When you're picked up six foot high in the air and you get slammed down, I don't care what you know. It dang sure vibrates everything in your body. And today's professional wrestlers all go at 200 pounds or better. A 200-pound man is a small man in professional wrestling today. Yeah, 200-pounders are not even hardly around anymore. You know, you look at any sport, hey, they're 260, 270, and they're getting bigger every year and better athletes. What you were saying about Richard Blood is coming through right now. If you don't count this man out, you might get him down, but uh, as Dick Murdoch says, you're going to have a heck of a time keeping him on that canvas. Flip going for that. Reverse chin lock, which is a very good hold there to keep a man down and tire him out. You're going to tire yourself out fighting, trying to get rid of it, and Fulton's got the weight on you. He's got the advantage right now in being behind his opponent. And as of right now, I'd say that Charlie Fulton is carrying this match pretty well to Richard Blood. How important is it to be the aggressor from the opening bell? I noticed in uh, you commentating the other week on Wide World Wrestling, uh, you were talking about uh, uh, a young wrestler that uh, that looked really good, but you said he's just not carrying the, the match to the other man the way he should be. Well, 99% uh, of the time, oh, there was a big knee to the stomach. Richard trying to get too carried away there. At 99% of the time, you need to be the aggressor, but a lot of times you're in there against somebody that's got the more experience. Well, you need to, you know, kind of wait around, not really wait, but, Take things easy. Kind of bide your time and wait till you Right, because you're in there against that experience. You're finally going to make a mistake and slip up, and he's going to capitalize on you and beat you. But, you know, if you got the experience on somebody, you got the size, you figure you got the ability plus the uh, endurance, we well, go ahead and be the aggressor and take the battle to him because you're finally going to wear him out and beat him. 
Richard Blood is valiantly fighting back. He uh, has had the match taken to him from the very onset. But look at this, a flying drop kick right flush across the chin of Charlie Fulton. Beautiful drop kick. Richard going for that big slam. Oh, and a big elbow there. I'll tell you what, it come right across the chin. I believe that could be it. There's a one, two, no. Nope. You gotta wrap them up these days. The competition is getting keener all the time in professional wrestling. Uh, some maneuvers and some holes that, that used to work years ago simply do not uh, put a man away anymore. You've got to look at that. Beautiful reversal by Richard Blood. He's stepping in for his hold. I believe he's going to try to get his hold on Charlie Fulton. He's working on that leg. There he goes. He steps in, hooks that leg, and does a beautiful bridge back. Look at that. One, two, three. And that's it. That's it. He's got it hooked so deep he can't even get out of it. Look at 